Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to this series of three phase uh, problems and uh, today we will uh, have our first question related to the power calculations or finding the regular quantities which is line phase currents line phase voltages but here we will be given instead of the impedance of the load we will be giving the power consumption of the load and in this question, as you will notice here, that you will not be given neither the connection of the supply as Y or delta, nor the connection of the loads as delta or, or Y, because the interest here will be more on the line quantities, not in the phase quantities. We need the connection of the load only if my interest is to find what is the phase currents or the phase voltages of these of these loads? So let's see this question here. Basically, we have two loads in parallel. The first load is consuming or the rated value for that 300 kVA at 0.8 power factor lagging. And I will call this load number one. And in load number two, it consumes 350 kVA at a power factor equal to 0.84 lagging as well and we are given here the line to line voltage now since these two loads are parallel and this is how we connect the loads the voltage 4.16 is the same voltage applied to the to these two loads and since there is no impedance between the source and the load again we assume that this voltage is exactly the same voltage that applied at these two these two loads. So what the question is asked us, find the magnitude of the line current. What is IL, the current that comes from the supply and feed these two, these two loads. Now, how we approach this problem in this type of problems, and we'll see some other examples uh, in, in the future, we'll try to find S for each load. Then we'll try to find the total S of all the loads knowing the voltage knowing s we can find the current as simple as that now s1 as an apparent power is equal to 300 kva s2 for the load number one is equal to 350 kva but i cannot simply add s1 plus s2 because this is just the magnitude of a vector and let's remind ourselves of the power triangle here. That relates the S, the apparent power, to the real power P, to the reactive power Q. So if this is your S, this is your P, and this is your Q, and this is your theta, the angle of the power factor. So while P and Q are scalar, so you can add P and Q, S is not a scalar s is a vector so now we need to find s1 and s2 as a vector and it's very straightforward because this angle is the same as the power factor angle and since we know the power factor and we know it is lagging so then we can find the angle so s1 is equal to 300 angle of plus cosine inverse of point point eight and this gives me 300 angle of 36.887 now let's go for s2 is equal to 350 and plus cosine inverse of the power factor which is 0.84 and this is equal to 350 angle of plus of 32.86 so this is the kva and this is the kva now i want to find the total s the summation of the two now i can add these two vectors so s total is equal to s1 plus s2 which is equal to 300 angle of 36.87 plus 350 angle of 32.86 of course i cannot add these two because these are two vectors with different angles so i have to convert everything into rectangular coordinate so this equal to this 300 the first one angle of 36.87 this is equal to 240 plus j 
1.80 plus the other S2 is equal to 294 plus J 189.9. So now we will add the real to the real imaginary to the imaginary. So we will have 534 plus J 369.9 KVN. So now this is the total S that come from the supply. From this, I can find the S total as a magnitude, which is equal to square root of 539 square plus 6, uh, 369.9 square. This is equal to the total apparent power, which is 6. 49.6. Now, S total is equal to root 3, B line magnitude, and I line magnitude. So, this is my S total. So, from this, I can find my I L straightforward is equal to 649.6 times 10 to the power 3, which is the KVA, divided by root 3 and the voltage is equal to 4.16 again 10 to power 3 so this will cancel and this will give me a value of the current equal to 81.53 amps and that is the value of the line current that feeds these two these two loads